I have a why. The presence of my why means that I cannot cry. No matter how hard I struggle, I preserve and save face at the expense of a generalized statement passed down for generations. Boys don't cry. The affect of one side of the whole spectrum passed down generation to generation. The metaphorical heirloom. It's ironic how I found myself valuing other people's opinions, but during my upbringing, something was missing. Positive reinforcement. Weaning. The irony behind weaning me off of something proves failure because I wanted to kill myself on three separate occasions. So remind me again why me learning to survive on my own as a man holds precedence if I'm the one responsible for taking my own life because I lacked love as a child. I digress. Allow me to explain. My why is responsible for a leading cause of suicide. My why has magnified my focus and as a result, I acquired tunnel vision with no way of seeing the light at the end of that tunnel. My why is a sign of contempt. My why is startling. My why has a widespread understanding that I was not raised as healthy as I should be. I was peer pressured by society to seek dominance, control, to avoid all weakness, to emotionally withdraw at any given moment until keeping to myself became an acquired coping mechanism and I'm the only one sitting in that dark place by myself growing contempt. I didn't ask for any of this. I was told. This is how it's going to be. Harm done within must be expressed or it will bide as a natural response and release stronger than what it once was. My why ain't got nothing to do with proving myself to no one. Bided emotions. My why is avoidant. Rather than self-help, my why lacks acknowledgement and proceeds to make women the outlet for my rehab. My why is stubborn. Being raised to dominate and control magnifies my inner focus. Women like it, so I proceed to put hands on her, dehumanize her, disrespect her. I remain blind to my own environment, holding on to values that are proof in my own failure to represent anything close to what that woman hoped I would represent. Truth is, my Y envies her ex for having something better than I ever had. So the cycle continues. Rather than looking within for my anger, my violence, my substance abuse, my actions that warrant cause for pain in the lives of those whom I remain associated with, my behaviors are required to be accepted because that's just how men are. That's just the way the world spins. That's just how it is. My why is an applicable lesson to parents at a young age to love their kids, regardless of an X or a Y. I deserve to be loved. I can be something besides a ticking time bomb in relationships. I can express my emotions in a healthy way that produces growth in all forms for not just myself, but the people in association with me so I won't need to hide my emotions for an unhealthy amount of time. I can be okay with knowing that boys cry. I am a human being who deserves to experience all life has to offer, and the norms that we as a society have been taught to live by have proven that this method does not help the men within that society. I, as a witness to this outcome of these norms, challenge us as a society to do right by our boys and raise them up rather than tear them down. Social experiments are done as a way to test the human response. My life is not a research project. It makes no sense to raise a child to grow accustomed to being loved less because of that child's sex. 
Men have emotions and naturally crave love just as much as women, yet we minimize it. We've all been a witness to what happens to a person when we don't show them affection over time, magnified by Netflix 13 Reasons Why. The root of our problem stems from something much greater. Humans are being hurt because of a spectrum where love exists for all. This is just my example. Societal norms were damaging. I am a survivor of societal norms. I challenge the status quo. I challenge society to change our response to all humans. X, Y, L, G, B, T, Q. We all need love. Can't nobody live without it. To be honest, I just want to hug right now. Spread kindness.